So I wanted to remind you that for a few lives now, we have been talking about string theory, super string theory. This is not the area of my expertise. I did my PhD in particle astrophysics with a focus on neutrinos and finding ultra high energy neutrinos utilizing radio frequency techniques or radio astronomy type of things. So even though particle um, astrophysics is really my area, I've been spending some time talking about string theory, super string theory, supersymmetry, these types of topics, because the importance of this is really because string theory is a candidate for the grand unification theory, which is a topic of interest to me, makes me very curious, uh, especially because it tries to bring together two parts of physics that are un unified so far, not unified so far, and have some trouble seeing eye to eye sometimes. And these are general relativity on the one side and quantum mechanics on the other side. Of course, particle physics comes out of quantum mechanics. So sometimes people may say that general relativity and uh, particle physics don't see eye to eye or that these two camps, one is the general relativity camp, the other is the particle physics camp, don't see eye to eye. Now, if quantum mechanics had not been vastly successful in showing uh, results with experiments, then we would not see so much growth in particle physics over the last many, I would say several decades. Really this uh, uh, effort or uh, what's a grander word, uh, this big uh, grand effort of particle physics got started in the 20th century where we saw a lot of really interesting developments in both um, relativity, giving us, of course, new flavor for everything we understood uh, at that point, including a new way of seeing electromagnetism with special theory of relativity, and then a new way of seeing gravitation uh, with general theory of relativity. So with those 